the um, the first portfolio that I'm looking at is is this one that is bound in uh, with a wood cover and back. And one of the things that that strikes me about it is it's unique and different. And so I think for portfolios to um, for, for students to think about a way to differentiate themselves from the thousands of other portfolios that that a firm may receive is is a key thing because time is valuable and 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 I want something that catches my eye right off the bat. So actually the the two that I'm looking at this one here which it has a just an unusual graphic design to the cover and then this wooden one um, are both two that I put, picked out because they caught my eye. Mm -hmm. So that's that's why I grabbed them to, to talk about them. Um, one thing that, as a critical comment, um, it's titled Artistic Portfolio. So the first thing I thought about when I saw this was, is this even an architectural student or is this an, uh, a student that's in the art program? So I might rethink the title of the portfolio, but that's a minor detail. Um, in general, I think it's a... Um, it's a very well put together portfolio and and one that does a lot of things I'm looking for when I'm when I'm evaluating um, the potential hire of a student or anybody for that matter is that it talks about what in, in this portfolio there's a design statement that talks about um, their passion and and what is important to them about architecture and why they are in architecture and and again, somebody that reads lots of these, I'm trying to understand how that individual might fit in the culture of my firm. And so having some kind of statement about who they are as an individual and what they believe in and, and what, um, what excites them and what they're passionate about in our profession, to me, is something I want to see in the portfolio or resume or that information I receive from them. So that was a really important and big opening for me as I looked at this. Um, I also saw some nice diversity in, in sharing with me um, their skills, meaning there's, there's hand sketches in here, there's computer renderings in this portfolio. Um, I, I got to learn about this wonderful trip to Italy that, that this student took and how that uh, really changed their thinking about architecture. Uh, it was a really, obviously, meaningful um, trip to them, and so that was something I really... Um, just enjoyed reading about, first of all. So that's the other thing is put, putting some, I, I do think it needs to have words. I think portfolios, I reviewed some portfolios earlier today where there was no words and there was not enough information for me to understand what is the problem that they're trying to solve with this design project and then what is the solution. And so make sure that the portfolio will can stand on its own and doesn't require the student to interpret the portfolio for me is really, really important. So that's a quick snapshot of this one. Um, I think, it again, it showed me not only that this individual has some good um, and strong potential design skills, but they also have um, some good graphic design skills and how they designed and laid out presentation boards uh, for um, for their studio presentations, and, and it became... Uh, obvious to me that I could see a progression in their work from their earlier years in school up until when they graduated so so that obviously that student was growing in the profession.